वेलकम बैक टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन बीएलएसए डिजाइन माई सेल्फ या कलेवानी फ्रॉम ईसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्रेसेंट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील बी सींग अबाउट द डी सी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सीमॉज इन्वर्टर सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द डी सी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फर्स्ट लेट्स रेफरेंस दी टॉपिक दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू वी एल एस आई डिजाइन अंडर विच वी हैव सीन about an ic its advantages drawbacks and about the mos transistor structures types of mos transistors modes of operation and the regions of operation and also we have started with the introduction to cmos inverter so to start with the dc characteristics of cmos inverter we should know the working of a cmos inverter so why it is called as cmos inverter because it has the property of an inverter CMOS is a combination of PMOS transistor and an NMOS transistor. PMOS transistor connected in series with the NMOS transistor. As we know, in an inverter, when input is logic zero, the output is going to be logic one, and vice versa. Similarly, even in a CMOS inverter, when V in is given as zero, your V out will be equal to V D D. Whereas when V in is equal to one, PMOS transistor is switched off and NMOS is made on. thereby the output is drained towards the ground and v out will be equal to logic 0 now coming on to the dc characteristic so dc characteristic mean that it is the relation of v out with respect to v in so here in this slide we have shown the current and voltage relation for nmos and pmos transistor which are all the basic equations that are required follow up so first is i inverse which is equal to minus idsp equal to idsn IDSP is the drain to source current in PMOS transistor and IDSN is drain to source current of an NMOS transistor here you can see IDSN is equated to minus IDSP since they are the current in PMOS and NMOS transistors are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign VGSN what is VGSN VGSN is gate to source voltage of an NMOS transistor where it is the difference between V in and zero why it is zero because it the terminal source is connected to the ground and so it is equal to v in similarly vgsp the gate to source voltage of a pmos transistor will be the difference between v in and vdd vdsn drain to source voltage of an nmos transistor which will be equal to v out and vdsp the drain to source voltage of pmos transistor is v out minus vdd now this table gives the relation between the voltages of various regions of both the p device and the n device we have already seen the three different regions of operation for the n or p device are cut off non saturated and saturated region non saturated region also termed as linear region or resistive region so the different voltage relationship is shown in this particular table next comes the cmos dc characteristic curve and this gives the relation between the v in and v out of a cmos inverter here you can see when v in is equal to 0 v out is equal to vdd and as v in increases towards vdd the v out curve is dropped down towards logic 0 so this characteristic curve is split into or divided into five different regions namely region a b c d and e now for the for these different regions you can see the operation of p and n devices varies in region a we can see p devices on and n device will be off similarly in region e you can see p is off and n is on in all the other regions like b c and d both the transistor will be on so we can see the operation in detail so in region a first let's see about the operation in region a where v in is equal to logic 0 in this case p transistor is fully turned on and n transistor is fully turned off it means that p transistor will be in linear region and n transistor is in the cut off region so no current flows through the inverter output is directly connected to vdd through the p transistor and thereby v out is equal to vdd in region b the input voltage is increased and it exceeds the threshold voltage of the n transistor so in this case the n transistor conducts and has a larger voltage between the source and the drain and so n transistor will be in saturation p transistor also conducting but with only a small voltage across it which is in the linear region by substituting the current expressions 
that is IDSN equal to minus IDSP of these two transistors and solve it for V out, we get the V out expression as shown in the slide. Next comes region C where this is the middle part of the curve that is the transition curve. In this both the NMOS and PMOS transistor are operated in the saturated region. So by equating the IDSN and the IDSP currents that is the drain to source current of N transistor and P transistor and solving for V out we can see V out to be equal to V in to be equal to the inverter voltage VDD by 2. Next about region D. In this region it is similar to that of region B but the roles of the P and N transistors are reversed. P transistor will be in the saturated region and N transistor will be operated in the linear region. Now by substituting the current expressions of both the PMOS and NMOS in saturated and linear region we get the output voltage V out as shown in the slide. The last region, region E where V in is equal to logic 1. So in this case the N transistor is fully on, P transistor will be fully off thereby again no current flow and a logic 0 appears at the output where V out is equal to 0 as the N transistor source is connected to the ground the output terminal the output in the output terminal is drained towards the ground thereby V out is equal to 0 and this is the table that shows the summary of CMOS inverter operation that we have seen so far where you have the regions from A to E the conditions of operation of these regions the operation of P device and N device in different regions and also the output voltage you can see at region A, V out is VDD, at region B, V out is greater than VDD by 2 and in region C, V out drops sharply and it is equal to VDD by 2 and in region D, V out is less than VDD by 2, when it reaches region E, V out becomes 0. Thank you.